our next guest for today, and, and really uh, a guest who we're going to talk quite a bit about, is Mr. Ed McNeil, who is Forsyth County Communications Director and the person who really sets up a lot of the individuals who have come to share information about yeah. what's going on in the county. Yeah. And Ed is actually here today. First, let me say hello. Good afternoon. Hi there. Ed. Hey, good afternoon. <laughs> yeah, Thank you for having to us jump in today. Right into yeah, it that's okay. You're such a, a great partner for us well, here thank at you. the radio station. Yeah. But we know that there's a special appropriations that is just has to be shared with yeah. the community today because tomorrow yeah. uh, is actually uh, a live opportunity to to really take advantage of it. So Ed, please, That's right. please share with us, what what is this? Yeah, so for Scythe County Commissioners, uh, I'll start last year. They set aside $1.6 million that they invested in local nonprofits that fell into a couple of categories. And those nonprofits were able, um, through this funding effort set up by the county, to take these dollars and go off and provide some new services. And so when we, when we look at these, um, these are organizations that are uh, focused on providing social, artistic, cultural, or economic development services in the county. And so on tomorrow at noon, if you go to the Forsyth County website, that's forsyth.cc, you will see information on how to go into the special appropriations portal. You go into that portal and be specific, but um, file your application and you're asking for monies to help with a new um, a new service that you're able to provide. Be specific about the amount that you want to to ask for. But I want to give you, you know, what could be interesting is to hear some of the names of organizations and how they spent some of these dollars. And so we look at the Arts Council. Um, the Arts Council was a recipient this past year and they received money that paid for the summer concert series that they produce out at Tanglewood and and out at uh, Triad Park. Eliza's Helping Hands. This provided court uh, provided medication for 180, um, uh, I guess we would call them clients. And then River Run 2024 also received money to increase their screenings of their films and even to set up some virtual screenings. And so there are nonprofits that have already committed to do things in our community, but this additional dollars, these additional dollars help them to be able to do something different and something new. Well, I, I just think, um, Hearing that, because sometimes knowledge and having being aware of something gives yeah. you uh, the opportunity to perhaps benefit from that. And, That's right. and if, if not for you being on this program today, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we might some of our audience, some of our nonprofit partners yeah. who are out there may not even know that this may is not happening. Know. That's and right. So, uh, again, just just share again a little about what this is. Yes. And how folks can really go yep. in and, and get this process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so starting tomorrow, that's Monday, January 29th at noon, you can go to the Forsyth County website, forsyth.cc, and you'll see information there where you can go into a portal. You can apply for the special appropriations, be specific about the amount of money that you're looking for, be specific about the new service that you plan to provide the residents of Forsyth County. And and this money will come from the uh, the 24 25 fiscal year now this is again about nonprofits that provide social artistic cultural or economic development services inside Forsyth County and there is a I'm going to give you a contact number first and so this is um, this is Aisha Carter and she is someone you can call if you have questions about it it's 336-703 Two six eight six, and her email address is Carter C A R T E R I, the number two, at Forsyth C C, and she can help you to work through if you have any challenges on the process. Now, so we will open on the twenty ninth. That's tomorrow. The process will close February 26th. That's the end of the application process. Then in early June, the 
commission will have uh, reviewed this. They'll go through their proposed budget and then possible adoption of the budget is somewhere between June 6th and June 27th. And so at that point, people would know whether or not they are funded. And so it's uh, it's definitely an exciting time. There are so so many nonprofits out there, Alvin, that do good work in the community, and this is an opportunity for them to uh, to add some funds that can help them do even more. Awesome! Uh, as again, what a great opportunity for our community, courtesy of our our county government. Yeah. Uh, another activity, though, that has become uh, an opportunity for us is is what has happened with the uh, Belize uh, Lake Park. And yeah. uh, I know we had someone talk about this uh, last year. Yeah, that's uh, right. Trey that's right. came. And, but uh, give us an update about this and, and remind our audience uh, what this really is. Yeah, so Blues Lake Park is just this, it's, it's going to be an outstanding space. It's 216 acres um, with almost two miles of lake frontage on Blues Lake. And this is in Forsyth County, but what we are doing is we are hosting two update sessions. So this is a place where we, we have some passive recreation, but there are, there will be docks and walking trails and the like on this property. It's 216 acres, as I said, but we are hosting meetings on February 6th and February 20th at the Blues Creek Fire Department. And it's from 6 to 8 p.m. And this is to just provide the public with an update on uh, on construction. And so we've been out there. I can't remember when we uh, when we did the groundbreaking. But, uh, man, it was hot out there that day. It was one of those (laughs) one of just a blistering day. But we did the groundbreaking and they've been really busy on it. And uh, and so now it's coming time for us to just get back together and make sure the public is understanding of what all is going on there. Uh, we're funding this with six hundred forty thousand, or we purchased the land from Duke Energy for six hundred forty thousand dollars. But um, the project's being funded by the State Clean Water Management Trust. Wow! Again, and those dates February six and February twentieth. That's right. And we'll, we'll be meeting at Blues Creek Fire Department, and the address on that is seventy six. 75 Blues Creek Road. Great. So I, yeah. I know. Um, and, and in fact, that leads me to it, talking to, in, in more general about our, our county and, yeah. and what it looks to do and is doing to really be a, a resource and support yeah. for our, our community. And I know uh, as you have come and, and as the uh, communications director yeah. uh, at the county and, and really introducing us to all that is going on because uh, quite frankly a lot of us don't know all that the county is doing and I know we have agreed uh, to feature the county on the fourth Sundays empowering you Mm -hmm. each month Um, but I just want you to just uh, in your own words just share uh, just really what the county is doing and the opportunity for our citizens to benefit from yeah. this investment. Well, I'm I'm blessed in so many ways. If I started trying to count it all, it'd, it'd be ridiculous. We'd take up the whole show. But I will tell you that I, I've been blessed to work for an organization that touches people in some of the most meaningful ways. And what a communications team has been able to do has been um, to be able to take the word of what's happening in government and take it out to the community. And I will tell you, I stole from my city days to come back over and try to be a partner with no, WSNC. We don't, man, let me stop. We don't, we don't steal. We don't have yeah. you, you are utilizing. I did. Yes, you're I did. utilizing those. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Yes. Okay. That's right. right. And you're, you're right. And so, so we wanted to come back um, when I started and said, I want to come back and be on that radio station. I know it reaches a lot of people and it reaches people who need to hear some of this information. When you look at, if we sat here and listed out the subject matter over the last year, you go, wait a minute, how else were people supposed to learn that information? Yes, we have a website. Yes, we have a television show. Yes, we do ads in all of these different formats, but we also have people who listen to radio and it's their devout listeners. They listen all the time. And and I just know that it it closes a gap. When we come and, and take the time to be here, love having uh, having you and, and Brian 
and, and everybody on the team here welcome us in to talk about what's going on with government communications. You know, I was in front of a group on, on Thursday or Friday and I was explaining to them that there is no silver bullet in communications. Mm. We can't pick one thing and say, well, that did it. Mm. That did it. Everybody knows now. Um, and, and what I would tell anyone is that there is a great community that we want to communicate to that has their ear to the speaker of what's happening at WSNC 90.5. Well, um, and let me just say, I agree with you. Yeah. And the reason <laughs> why I'm sitting here just to put a show like Empowering You yeah. uh, on WSNC, because it is about empowering and getting information yeah. to the listeners that will actually help them to be Come their best selves. And, That's right. And, and as I said, I've learned so much in this past year yeah. uh, from what you brought on from the health department, from mm -hmm. uh, the library, from uh, recreation. I yeah. mean, the pickleball thing. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. mean, all those things are there for our citizens. Yeah. And and yet, if we don't know, is if then it's like it won't. We don't have it. So, That's right. Uh, I'm just look for, hopeful that as we go through this year, yeah. you're going to have some other exciting guests oh, yeah. uh, to come and and, and uh, share with our community uh, yeah. what's going on and, and how we can be of, of, of support yeah. for our community. I have this calendar of, of where I'm laying out what we're going to talk about in different months. And, and one of the cool things is, and we haven't talked to you about this, but we want to get you to go in and experience some of these activities and efforts so that when we come in and talk to you, you have that personal oh. experience to say, you know, like we're coming up on a heavy recruiting time for 911 operators. Mm -hmm. We constantly need 911 operators as well as EMS staff. And so what we're looking for is what ways can we what ways can we get that out to the public that really helps them to to appreciate it at a different level. So we may want to bring you out there and, and let you see some of it firsthand. Well, I'm, I'm definitely willing and, and able yeah. and, and look forward to it because, yeah. as I said, this community, this what we're doing, what you're doing in the county, mm -hmm. as you said, a lot of nonprofits are here. The, the, the whole desire yeah. for us to be humane, to, to know that we're all in this together mm -hmm. is such a, an important driver uh, for me sitting in this seat and and I've picked that up from your time at the city and, mm -hmm. and now at the county yeah. and to me uh, it is just taking us into a place that is just so powerful for yeah. our citizens and we just have to share that so yeah, I just want to you. Uh, you know put that out there to our yeah. audience and just let them know that there's more to come yeah. uh, from the from Forsyth County. Yeah, sure. so much. I'm super excited about it. Thank you for those kind words. And, and thank you, WSNC, and, and all you listeners out there for um, paying attention to this great station and, and then hearing the words that we're bringing on Empowering You. Thank you. Great. That's our show for today. And yes, what a whole truckload of information on the programs and services provided by our Forsyth County government. A sincere thank you to each and all of them for what they are doing for us here in Forsyth County. Please join us again next week on another edition of Empowering You with me, Alvin Atkinson, your host here on WSNC 90.5 FM.